Welcome back to Mass Appeal, and we're back with Master Gardener Ed Sordiff. Earlier in the show, we talked about blueberries and how they can be attractive in the garden, and they can also give you something to eat. So now we're talking even more about edible landscapes with some of these things here. So you can have good-looking plants that you can eat. Yes, yes. Basically, for years and years, people just re re relegated uh, the vegetable plants to the vegetable garden. Now they realize that they're actually very, um, they look really good, and so you might as well actually use them for an ornamental purpose also. So we'll get to the ornamental purpose, and we'll get to the, the prettiest of the veggies a little bit later. But you were saying also, if you plant some of these in and around your other plants, your traditional plants like roses, sometimes they can ward off certain invasive bugs. Yes, that's actually called companion planting. Um, there's actually a great book out there, Carrots Loves Tomatoes, and that actually, <laughs> it, it's about companion planting, tells you different things that like each other. Now, you were saying onions can be good if you plant them around roses. Yes, because they will deter aphids. The aphids don't like the smell of the onions, and they will just try to stay away from that area. So it's actually a good reason why you put the onions next to your roses. I mean, onions are pretty enough as they are. They have those nice green stalks. They go there. They, they like the sunny environment just like a rose does. So it's a really good thing. You have your, you double your gardening space, really. And save a little bit of money at the same time. Yes. Now let's talk about some of the prettier plants that people can plant, and they taste good, too. We have fennel right here. Yes, this is a bronze fennel. So it has these really great fuzzy type of um, uh, leaves here. It's a great color. So that's a, a great thing to have in the garden and you get to eat it later on too. You know, people are used to green kale. This is red kale. Yes, red also. And actually these colors red that come out like the, um, like the romaine lettuce here, which is a really great color too. These are just a lot. I brought a colia so you could actually see this is just an ornamental plant, but you can see the colors on this are bright. But these are actually not too far off, and they actually yeah. have coleus in these colors. So you might as well uh, put this in a garden and actually use it. I was it. Say, if you're going to plant it, you might as well be able to eat it. Yeah. Now, also in this family, I see sometimes a Swiss chard that's rainbow colored with all the different colored stuff. Yeah, those are very pretty. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. Now, as always, if people are looking for more red in their life, tomatoes. Yeah. Tomatoes are great. You put them in the full sun also if you have a sunny kind of garden. Uh, the, um, this is a, a smaller type of tomato. A lot of, lines of a cherry, but it just looks great hanging there. There's a yellow pear tomato, which I've talked about before, and actually the, the little um, tomatoes are about this big, and they look like little marzipan um, pears. And so they actually hang there, they look great, and they're full of sugar, the kids love them, they're, they're great to eat. And oftentimes plants during or at the end of their gardening seasons will flower too or they'll bolt or they'll flower, and that looks good, even though it might not be great for the plant. Yeah, so that's, um, um, a lot of people don't know that you can actually plant a lot of uh, vegetable things like uh, salad greens in a shady part or a dapple shade part of your garden, three or more hours of sun, and these guys will all do well. And the nice thing about the shady part of your garden is that um, plants might bolt in the summer when it gets hot, and bolting just means they're like running for the door, they're gonna get their seeds up and they're gonna be all done. Mm -hmm. So if you plant them in a cooler spot, they actually won't bolt as easily. Easily. And you can just sneak them in there, and salad's expensive these days, so yeah. you can save a little bit of money by doing this. Now let's talk about this, which, which I love not only because this looks gorgeous, but because I love asparagus. This is an asparagus plant. Yeah, these are um, Mary Washington asparagus plants. You can see they have that great ferny-like foliage. This will get probably about um, four to five feet tall, so you're going to want to leave this at the back of a border. Um, a nice thing about this, when they get tall like that, um, the, the, the spears come up in the spring and after they get a, a couple years old, that's when you can harvest the, some of the spears. But when you let them go like this, they're going to send up these great ferny fronds and then um, they'll just put all the energy back into the roots. A great thing to do at this size, um, when your asparagus is coming out, put a peony ring around it. It's just basically a wire hoop that goes around the asparagus. So as it gets older and floppy, it'll stay more erect and it'll look really pretty. It will look good. Now, yeah. lastly, Love the look of eggplant. I don't know why it's a great looking color, and you can also get multiple colored eggplants too. Yes, yes, they have actually a ton of new eggplants out. Uh, this is a regular purple, which would look really nice in the garden. It almost looks like a, a purple porcelain type of thing hanging there. Um, they have white eggplants that actually look like eggs, uh, chicken eggs. Mm -hmm. They have some that are actually uh, variegated with the purple and the white, so they look really good too. How cool is they that? would like to have full sun. So between the blueberries, which look really great once they flower, mm -hmm. and all of these, you can have a garden that you can eat that looks really cool too. Yes, yes. And as you were saying earlier, I think this is the great comparison. We have this plant here, and this is a coleus. It's a coleus, yes. Now, gorgeous, lovely plant, but doesn't it look just as cool as some romaine lettuce? It does, and then you get to have a nice salad when you're all done. Not too shabby. <laughs> and it's always a pleasure to have you here. You can do it too, and if you want these tips, they're online. MyMassAppeal.com later today.